according to a new comprehensive study on tobacco smoking and causes of death in India. Tobacco smoking will cause nearly 1 million deaths annually during the 2010s. The majority of these deaths, up to 70%, are in the middle age group between 30 and 69 years and not in the old age. In India, by 2010, 1 in 5 male deaths and 1 in 20 of adult female deaths would be caused by tobacco smoking. Most smokers use BDs, the smaller local cigarette, which is a cheap smoke and combines 25% of the tobacco found in cigarettes with another leaf. Overall, men who smoke BDs will lose 6 years of their life. Women who smoke BDs will lose about 8 years and men who smoke cigarettes will lose 10 years of their life in comparison to non-smokers. We found there is no such thing as safe smoking. Even smoking 1 to 7 cigarettes a day would double the risk. And even smoking 1 to 7 BDs a day would raise the risk by 25% of death. All told, there's about 120 million smokers in India. Over a third of male adults smoke and something like 5% of adult females smoke. The study compared adult deaths during 2001 to 2003 in 1.1 million homes and compared smoking histories of 74,000 deaths with 78,000 living controls. In this age group in India, more smokers die of medical causes than non-smokers. However, unlike in the western countries, there were 10 times as many tuberculosis deaths attributed to smoking as lung cancer deaths. The study found that in middle-aged men in India, smoking caused 38% of deaths from tuberculosis, 31% of deaths from respiratory disease, 20% of deaths from vascular disease, 32% of deaths from cancer. The study found that tobacco aggravates the high background risks and doubles them in smokers. For India to reduce tobacco caused deaths, there is only one strategy to get current smokers to quit smoking. Stopping smoking does work, but at present the quit rates are as low as 2% in adults and that too often happens only after the damage is done and they fall ill. The study also found that over half of the tobacco deaths occurred in illiterate men or women and nearly 80% occurred in rural areas. That means the information about the harms of tobacco smoking is just not reaching them in meaningful ways. The government of India is currently debating its tobacco control policy most importantly to introduce pictorial warning on all tobacco products. I have just gone through the study of the Center for Global Health Research. I find this to be very alarming. Demographically India has the youngest population in the world. We have nearly about 600 million uh, people uh, below 30-35 years. So we have to protect the 600 million huge asset of ours against smoking, against tobacco. Smoking is today the single largest cause of avoidable deaths in the world. The study finds that the risk associated with smoking is bigger than previously thought and that about half of the smokers are killed by their addiction. We spoke to Mr. Saharaj Sao, a 38-year-old smoker who has been smoking for the past 20 years. He recently had a heart attack due to this. When asked if he would smoke again, he said, Prominent social activists who were not involved with the study welcome its findings. Tobacco is an addiction, it kills. Over 9 lakh Indians alone this year are going to be dying from tobacco related illnesses. I lost my brother-in-law due to tobacco. Don't lose somebody in your family. The study suggests what choices can be made for individuals as well as for organizations. The findings of the study conclusively shows of the 10 million deaths in India, smoking accounts for 1 in 10 of all deaths. Death from smoking can be avoided. Stopping smoking works.